Get ready. Wayback Machine 1 is on the air. Looking for Lucy, Groucho, Martin and Lewis, Classic Sci-Fi? We have them all here on Classic TV. Wayback Machine 1. Subscribe today. Classic TV. Wayback Machine 1. Your beloved senator is about to speak. <laughs> Hello, dog patches. Within that time capsule, buried deep in the beloved soil of dog patch, is the sum total of all man's knowledge in the 20th century. Hooray for the 20th century! You must be wondering why such an expensive contraption been buried in such a cheap hole as your beloved dog pack. <laughs> well, the honest truth is, your beloved government spent so dang much on a dang thing, there wasn't a dang dime left to buy no place to put it. <laughs> and what did you done do, jackass? Oh, I riz up in the U.S. Senate. He riz up. <laughs> Just as I has riz up today in dog pack. And I said to Hubert and Everett, and I repeated it to Bobby and Teddy when they dropped in. I said, boys, there's only one place left in the whole dang United States where land don't cost nothing. Where land ain't worth nothing. And that one place is dog pack. I hope you will all show your gratitude by coming to the official ceremonies tomorrow. For at 12 sharp, that door will automatically snap shut. And all the contents of the time capsule will be sealed inside, beyond the power of man, woman, or mule, until it automatically snaps open again a thousand years from now. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. <laughs> Locked up inside of it for a thousand years? Be a thousand year honeymoon. For you, maybe, but what would I do for fun? Couldn't go catfishing. True. Couldn't go skunk hunting. I suppose not. It wouldn't be nothing to do all day long. Think of the evenings, little Abner. <laughs> That'd be the worst part. I'd miss ever victim or two a picture for a thousand years. <laughs> Anything that hits the spot? Oh, everything. Anyone who orders the 10 cent executive's lunch gets their money's worth. Yes, I'm sure of that. And if she cares to go higher, there's the 35 cent blue plate special. Uh, the plate don't start off blue. It turns blue if she leaves the special on too long. Delicious. And best of all, naturally, is Mammy Yoakum's $1.12 dinner. It's famous. The width and length of dog patch. 
We hopes to sell one someday. Yes. It's got 14 courses. Do you serve them all? I'm the car hop. You've just sold one. <laughs> oh, golly! <laughs> Surprise, ain't you having the owner herself serving you? I don't do this for everybody. Then why me? <laughs> you is the first varmint that was ever sport enough to order my dollar twelve dinner, and I personally wants to watch the joy on your face as you chomps away. Start chomping. It's just as good as it looks. I've lost my appetite. Here, I'll pay you for it, though. Hmm. Any varmint flings around money like this must be mighty rich. <laughs> there ain't a nosy hair in my body, stranger. But is you married up? No, not yet. I got just the girl for you. And she's willing to get married. Well, I sympathize with the lady, madam, but... She's been willing for years. There's no need to go on. Daisy Mae! Yes, sir. You can go on home now. Dollar twelve dinner. Don't want to marry you. Were you talking about her? Naturally. Do you think she would marry me? Well, ask her. It's the least I can do for a dollar twelve dinner. <laughs> privilege of being the husband of that sweet, scrawny little critter. <laughs> what is them two whispering about? She's asking that young lady if she wants to get married. Ah, of course she wants to get married. To our boy, named Little Abner. It's been her dearest wish since the day she was born. And Mammy's too. <laughs> She's asking that young lady if she wants to marry me. Must have changed her mind. A stranger, Mammy never changes her mind. On account of she's always right in the first place. Cuss her infallible old hide. Something sneaky going on around here. And for once, it ain't me. Don't trust me, dear. Now, would you do it? If you say so, Mammy Yoakum. You'll never regret it, honey. She's yourin'. She's hisn. You heard me. She's hisn and he is hern. Body and soul. Until death do them part. I has spoken. <laughs> now scoot. <laughs> and don't you dare scoot over little Abner and tell him that Daisy May is engaged to... What is your name? Oh, Henry Cabbage Card. Of uh, Boston. <laughs> Naturally. And when you don't tell little Abner that Daisy May is engaged, don't dash get his name wrong. Oh, oh I won't, dear. <laughs> Keep it plutonic. <laughs> little Abner, I got some heartbreaking news. Daisy May is engaged to a city fella. Poor soul, no one is heart's breaking. <laughs> and the whole idea was whomped up by that dear, treacherous little mammy of yours. <laughs> Happy. Everybody knows I've been hoping to lose Daisy May. Now, thanks to mammy, I have. That's the happiest boy in the whole world. You is the stupidest boy in the whole world. <laughs> Don't you see what that sweet, sneaky little mammy of yours is up to? It's a trick to infuriate you into marrying Daisy May yourself. Oh, she couldn't have done it for no such reason. She knows I don't want her. She likewise knows you don't want nobody else to have her. And that's what that lovable little buzzard is figuring on when the chips is down. <laughs> Mammy, the time has come for one of our man-to-man -man talks. <laughs> Far away. You wouldn't fix up no engagement twixt Daisy May and some other varmint just to infuriate me into marrying her, would you? Look me square in the eye, son. <laughs> now, do I look like the kind of a mammy a boy couldn't trust? 
Mammy, you is the honestest looking Mammy I ever had. Oh, you lovable little wrinkle runt. <laughs> Never forget the old saying. If a boy can't trust his own mammy, whose mammy can he trust? <laughs> Well, you heard it, Pappy. I asked a man to man if Daisy May's engagement was a trick, and she denied it. She never denied it. <laughs> she merely out talked you. Oh, she's a brainy one. But don't worry, child. You got someone even brainier pitching for you, namely me. <laughs> Son, the sporting thing for you to do is sashay over to Daisy May and congratulate her. Yes, sir. Don't make a move. Pappy, what harm can it do if I congratulate Daisy May dog patch style? All it amounts to is a kiss on the cheek. That cheek system is unreliable. <laughs> First thing you know, you've slithered toward a nostril. And where there's a nostril, the lips ain't far away. <laughs> you know the code of the hill. Well, any fool knows the code of the hill. I knows it. <laughs> any boy what kisses any girl on the lips got to marry her. If any relative what witnessed the crime insists on it. Oh, don't worry about me, Pappy. I is strictly a cheek man. <laughs> a cheek man. Oh, thank you, Chief. Thank you. Washington has granted me two weeks for a honeymoon starting right now. You a justice of the peace? Close? Closest we has to a justice of the peace is Sam the marrying man. How fast can he perform a wedding? Sam can rip through one of his 98-cent weddings in under three minutes. That's about as long as I'd care to wait. Uh, you the fellow what's fixing to marry up with her? Yes. I want to marry Miss Daisy May with all my heart. As a matter of idle curiosity, would you mind telling me what for? Well, because. For one thing, she's as beautiful a girl as any who ever lived. Oh, beautiful her. <laughs> but it isn't simply her beauty I love. It's something that glows from deep inside her. Don't know what to call that. Well, shucks, won't you call it by its rightful name? It's her purity. Well, now, son, be a he-man and congratulate Daisy May dog patch style. <laughs> Dog patch style of Lavner. Well, it ain't nothing to get all worked up about. All it amounts to is a good-natured kiss on the cheek. Well, my cheek is all your little Lavner, body and soul. Fight it, boy. Ain't too late to switch to a handshake. <laughs> well, might just as well get it over with now. Might as well. Daisy May, that was goodbye. You can't kiss no girl like you just kissed me and up and say goodbye. But I didn't mean to kiss you on the lips. Honest, I didn't. I never will again. Well, might as well. Because according to the code of the hills, any boy what kisses any girl the way you just kissed me, gotta marry her. Only if a relative what witnessed the crime insists. And you ain't got no relative present. <laughs> Laugh, clown, laugh. Because <laughs> in a second you'll be crying. The next voice you hear will be the voice of treason. I insist. <laughs> but, Mammy, you ain't no relative of her. Ain't nothing in the cold of the hill says it can't be a relative of yours. I insist. I have spoken. <laughs> Jack Benny, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, Groucho Marx, Dragnet, The Life of Riley. We have the classic TV shows and movies. We're way back machine one. I hope you'll subscribe today.